My name is Eric Okoth, so uh, a physiotherapist by profession, partnering with the Ponea Health. So today we will learn to discuss the activities that take place during a physiotherapy session from the point patient enters the clinic to the point the patient now leaves. Or when the patient, patient's problem is as a result of the, uh, the joint itself, is it stiff? Then what is causing the stiffness? Did the patient had a con is the patient involved in a contact sports or some like th some something like that? Or what could have been the problem? So in in that assessment, basically the physiotherapist will have to find out what the patient is suffering from or what is causing the patient's suffering, so that when then uh, when he'll now or she'll now be starting treating the treatment will be directed to what exactly is causing the patient's problems. That is now number two. So number three, we are now going to the treatment. The, the physiotherapist has clerked, the physiotherapist has assessed and has ruled out or find out what the problem is. So there, the, the, now the, the third stage, the physiotherapist is now treating what he or she has found out to be the problem causing the pain or limiting the mobility of the patient. There are also there are wide range of modalities that the patient, that the physiotherapist will now use on the patient depending on what he or she have found out on the patient. So first, if the patient is uh, experiencing pain, so there are a wide range of uh, of uh, modalities, just uh, as I have said, that the, the physiotherapist will use. We have uh, ultrasound therapy, will, will, which will help to do or to limit the pain. We also have when the, the physiotherapist feels like he needs to stimulate the muscles or there's a nerve involvement or the, depending on the presentation. So we have a tense machine which will help in and uh, stimulating the muscles and also stimulating the nerves, depending also on what stage or what time the patient has uh, reported, we may sort to use a cold therapy or a, or a heat therapy where the patient may use an, the, the physiotherapist may use an ice pack or a, or a, a, a hot pack, depending on the now what the physiotherapist has found out, and again. After that, we also do a series of uh, exercises. You do an exercise that is, that is geared towards improving the patient's problem. After that, uh, once, once the patient, has, uh, the, the physiotherapist has now finished the, the treatment session, which may last for uh, a period that the, the physiotherapist has, uh, has designed, so the, the, we go to the fourth stage where now you re-evaluate. You try to find out uh, after the treatment session, how is the patient feeling? So there you try again to reassess. The, 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 what you did to find out what the problem is, now to reassess. Is the pain reduced? Is there improvement uh, within that period of time? Have you improved on the range of motion? Or what have you achieved within that first physiotherapy session? So it is what you have achieved after the treatment, uh, what is now going to determine when do you need to see the patient next, or after how long uh, or will the patient is likely to recover from the problem, or how many number of sessions do you think you need for the patient to recover, or whether you may need the patient to be referred for further, for further uh, tests or for further treatments. When we say the kind of what uh, kind of uh, uh, treatment machines or modalities that a physiotherapist may need in a given uh, or a specific case, we have a, a wide range of uh, treatment modules or treatment modalities, depending on what the, the patient is presenting with. I'll take a case of a patient, maybe when the patient is having a, a pain, so we have to do a modality that is going to minimize the pains. As I said, there we have to, we may use a therapeutic ultrasound, we may use a tense machine in that case, or when, when, the, when the physiotherapist wants now to relax the muscles or improve the circulation of the blood, which will also help in healing, we may go to the hot, uh, I mean, uh, hot packs. We have a hydrocolator, which you'll get the hot packs from there, which will help the physiotherapist achieve 
what he wants. So we have li uh, uh, unlimited number of uh, modalities or treatments that uh, the list is so long that a physiotherapist may use to treat. So what may, uh, what will uh, make a physiotherapist or what will suggest on the number of or and modalities to use basically will now depend on what the patient is presenting with. Thank you so much for joining us in this discussion. We are looking forward to en engaging you and interacting you uh, a lot in our future episodes. And you can book my services at ponea.com. My name is Eric Okoth, I'm a physiotherapist by profession, partnering with Ponea Health. So today I will want to discuss the differences that are there between physiotherapy and the gym. So many have been uh, or have mistaken physiotherapy for a gym or somebody who will say, why would I go and see a physiotherapist if I can go to gym and do workout and, uh, and all that and feel a bit of relief. Depending on what the patient or what the person is uh, suffering from or what the, uh, what the motive that is driving you to go to a gym or to go to see a physiotherapist. As I said, physiotherapy is a medical treatment that is aimed at improving a patient's mobility or functions. So when, a pa when somebody is having a pain or when somebody is having a limited range of motion or a discomfort, such a person needs a medical treatment so that he gets or she gets out of what the problem is suffering from. But maybe when somebody has a target, I want to lose weight, I want to keep fit, or I want to do one, two, three, such a person may, may resort to a gym instructor who will say, if you want to do this, you, you need to do this kind of exercises or this. So physiotherapy and the gym are quite different because uh, they used to say in the gym that no pain, no gain. In the physiotherapy treatments, we say you are not supposed to feel pain with the physiotherapy because what you want to drive away is the pain that has brought you to the, to the, to the, uh, to the clinic. So first, what we do as a physiotherapist is to do uh, an evidence-based uh, evidence approach to help the patient get out of the pain or get back to the normal live, lifestyle, which will be pain-free. And as a medical professionals, we use evidence-based approach to help patients get out of whatever problem they are suffering from. We, we get so many patients from the gym that have, that have come to see physiotherapists because of the gym-related injuries. So, I may say that uh, what you get to the gym is quite different from what 
physiotherapists do because uh, I can say no evidence or no uh, the, the, what the gym instructor will be doing is to push you or rather to push you to either achieve whatever you want to achieve, if it is weight loss or something, irrespective of, uh, regardless of uh, the pain or the kind of feeling that you, are, that, that, that you are experiencing. But in this other state, what will now help you is to limit or do away with the pain. So when you do a movement that we say is eliciting pain, we don't push you to do the same exercise or the same movement that will as a result, do cause more pain. So what we do basically is to treat, is to treat uh, the problem that you've come, uh, that, that has brought you to the clinic. The most uh, common injury, so the most common problem that the most patients have been presenting, pre presenting with are the low back problem. Because uh, you know, for our, uh, this is something that it's very difficult to, to, run, to run away from, starting from how we normally sit, what we carry, like our mothers who carry very heavy loads in the markets, they end up putting a lot of load on their, on, on, on their spine, which as a result may cause a compression or may cause a uh, disc bulge or such like things. Or sometimes you may be doing it uh, on your youth, but as you grow, it catches up with you. So you find you have a very bad uh, back problem that you cannot tell when did you or what did you do that might have caused that. So the predomin pre predominant problem that most patients pre uh, present with are the low back pain. So there are a wide range of ways that a physiotherapist can use eh, to motivate their patients who have been on, uh, on the treatment program. So you may find that when a patient comes to you, there are some whom we may say have, uh, are in the verge of uh, giving up on their problem. So these are the patients that you need to be in con co constant communication with. So you first explain to the patient what the problem or he or she is suffering from uh, in details and what does it take for him or her to get out of this problem. So once the, once the patient understands his or her condition, it will be so easy or it will be good, uh, the, the, the prognosis or the recovery of this patient will be so, will be so fast or the patient will not be so, uh, I can say, somehow de uh, distressed or depressed because you may find some patients after prolonged physiotherapy sessions with no remarkable improvement, they may stop even when the problem has not, because, uh, has not resolved because they did not understand what it takes for the patient to, for such a condition to get out of, of them. So the, 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 the motivating factor in this case is the communication and how you relate to the patient rega regarding the problem that they are suffering from. Thank you so much for joining us in this discussion. We are looking forward to en engaging you and interacting you uh, a lot in our future episodes. And you can book my services at ponea.com.